of Sky and everything that's on the Isle of Sky because there's so much to do on the Isle of Sky in Scotland. That's what plans for today. We're trying to get as many holidays as we can in before Baby Angel arrives, which is in less than six weeks. So while I'm recording this, I am currently 34 weeks in a bit. So we woke up at six o'clock this morning and we wanted to leave the house at seven, but we actually left the house at eight-ish. Um, we were running a little bit late, but we also popped to the post office because I missed a delivery. So I picked that up as well before we decided to go on our little road trip. It, it's gonna take us about seven and a half hours from Newcastle to get to the Isle of Sky. So I think what we might do is we might like drive three hours and then have a little rest, make some food up in the van and then like carry on for the other three hours. One thing that I have been really enjoying at the moment is iced coffee. I've just put a little bit in there but I get these all the time from Aldi. They're so so good and Aldi's have started doing the bigger bottles now. They used to just do like the little cups like Starbucks do. Um, but one of you guys asked like have I had any funny cravings sorry guys <laughs> my hands going everywhere um, <coughs> but yeah one of you asked if I had any like funny weird cravings I haven't had any strange cravings but it's more like ice pops and it's more slushes and iced coffee they're my three things at the moment that I am craving was feeling a little sick so was Logan um, and we thought we'll just pull over have a little bit of a rest I'm actually having an apple this is my breakfast this morning I'm an absolute mess so I only got ready I just jumped straight out of the bed just jumped straight in the van but I brushed my teeth and all that and like got a shave and everything but just like didn't do anything with the hair <laughs> you had yeah. time to put your makeup on the uh, passenger seat didn't you? I did in the air van I always do that how are you feeling Sean? Okay. Okay, still feeling a bit sick? Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just having a little rest, stretching our legs before we get back on the road. We've got another five hours to go. Time has stopped, nothing's changed. We're the same and we skip the small talk. Cause you know me, yeah, you know me like nobody else. Couple of friends and we 
have two minutes Kayla sweetie we have stopped thank you darling Kayla's just getting me some water so we've pulled over we are currently in the hat we're not in the highlands anymore are we we've just passed the highlands no, we're, we're still, in the, we're still highlands. in the highlands no. making our way up to eight by horse flies so we're making our way up to just i think we're just passing fort william we're not actually going into we just fort start, like, the, the back of it i got a top of fort william yeah before um, we start going up to the isla sky but you literally you could just stay here it's just like look at this scenery it's just look unreal. where we stopped i know if the guys can see it i'll show them it a little bit better so this is where we are b fam it's just absolutely beautiful an all-round view just everywhere you look just beauty from left to right and then we're just parked over here with the family are you guys all doing miss pregnant stephanie <laughs> how's baby doing good it's good as shit yeah. oh, look at the weather we've been blessed with oh, it's, it's absolutely oh, beautiful oh, isn't it is it done again is it Okay, how are you guys enjoying your journey? Good. Yeah, you didn't want to come up the van before, did you? I know, mum and dad's got some um, lavender and peppermint oil. I'm just going to put that on our skins. I should actually add it to the sunblock, shouldn't we? Could do. Yeah, we're going to... I've brought, I've brought um, some spray bottles and stuff. Have you? You helping mum, Logan? No. No? What are you doing in there? Just saying in here. Saying yeah. Yeah, because it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come out, Mum's way, Caleb, like Mum said. Oh, it's not a wasp, don't worry, it's just a horse fly. Oh, Which just decided to take a nice, healthy bite out of my leg before. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to get off my phobia of bees and wasps after coming to Scotland for a few more journeys, aren't I? I'd be like, wasps and bees don't bother us anymore. There are loads and buzzing around, big massive flies. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what they are. I think the horse flies, but they're flying around. Oh and just decided to take a bite out of your leg every so often. And but yeah, That's what a good break. I've been driving for about just over four hours now, have I, Stephanie? Uh, yeah. Just over four hours. Um, I did start to feel a bit tired after we left Edinburgh. Then I walked back up again. And as we came up past Stirling, um, I started to get tired again. And then we began to look for a, a parking place as we were going through the Highlands. We came up through the east side of the Highlands. Last time we came up through the west side of the Highlands, which the west side's the best. It's just more scenic on the west than it is the east. But it's nice to have an experience of both different sides, if that makes sense. Um, oh, I'm actually bleeding. You're bleeding, are you? What happened? Midges. Midges. It's like a little dot where it's bit. No way. Yeah, it's the one that didn't come off. Because it was slapping it and it didn't come off. Yeah, I'll just squish them, that's what I'm going to do next time they come on me. <laughs> I'm putting this sun lotion on. Yeah. It's one on you. Where? Isn't it? Ah, that one's biting us. My back hurts. Why doesn't back hurt? I'm sure you've sat down for so long, that's why. No, it's biting. Probably got a bit you have. I've managed to put myself together a little bit. I've done my hair and all of that sort of stuff. Um, just never had the time this morning. I was just up, out, in the van, packing loads of stuff in the van. Um, so I never had time to really like, do anything with myself. I did all the usual, brush my teeth and you know get a shave and stuff like that. But other than that, I didn't really put myself together 100%. But now I feel 100%. Um, but yeah, Stephanie is making... What are you making, Stephanie? What you got going on in here? So we're just having something nice and quick and we are having the naked green curry noodles. Which we've already had before. Excuse the tiling at the back, the tiling isn't finished um, and we're still going to be putting tiling over on that side over there. Um, but other than that, it's looking pretty good so far. How you guys found your journey so far in the back? Good. You, you might want to close that door, stop your little kettle yeah. cook cooker. Uh, what did you say there, Dion, Don? I said good, these seats are really cozy. Yeah. Really good to sleep in. And I think we'll give you guys a good full tour eventually. Show you guys in an in-depth review how we operate the motorhome, the changes that we made. That Look, we <laughs> I've got clothes drying as well. They're drying as well. They are actually drying. Oh insane. <laughs> um but yeah, like I said before, we'll give you guys an in-depth, we'll show you guys the things that you put in the in the camper van, the reasons why we wanted them things there and stuff like that at a later date. Once you start using your camper van, there's things that you find out that you want to change, yeah, yeah. you want to add. 
so we've kind of because we've been out in it quite a lot as you know if you've been a long time subscriber then you know that we've been exploring going on holidays and we've kind of learned like oh this will be good if yeah, we had this here this, this draw would be nice if we had at that height and stuff like that so we did make a few adjustments um, we and are stuff making, like that. Like a couple of finishing touches on. Yeah, we? it's not completely finished. Finished. It's finished. Like it's livable. You can you can live off it. You know, you can you can sleep in it and stuff like that. But but like, I wanted the tiles, like Sean said. Just little just finishing, thinking, touches, like, finishing yeah. touches. We want to get some like nice green plants. Put some of them in it and stuff like Plant that. Pots. I want to get like some nets to maybe have on the side, just so the children got a bit of storage to like for when we're Books driving and around stuff, and things. School work and toys and stuff for Caleb and. Logan and for his devices and stuff like that so you just like figuring these things out as you go don't you, do, you? yeah and yeah. every van life I will say that as well yeah and if you're ever thinking about building one I'm just gonna give you some advice get some else to do it because it's an absolute stress it's not a job building a van isn't a job it's an operation it really is there's so much you have to think about that you don't realize you have to think about until you actually start building it give it a go if you want to give it a go but very time consuming time consuming yeah. mind boggling as well as all of these it's not like doing normal joinery like when you fit a kitchen you've got like a square base to work with it's lots of corners to cut bends to cut into it's it's tricky isn't it yeah yeah it's very tricky but anyways our kettle is boiled and we're going to have our th green thai noodles i think i might have that sweet chili one if you don't mind yeah of course yeah and then we'll catch you guys back up when we're on the road we should be a little bit further down the road heading up to the isle of sky Sky to a place called Armdale Bay Beach and we're gonna go for a little swim I'll turn you guys around and show you so this is where we have turned up look how clear that water looks and then this is a little beach look at this oh my word how beautiful does this look it reminds me of the time that we stayed at Loch Lamond when we went well camping and the next morning we went for a swim in the loch and it was absolutely beautiful but it's not like really a beach it's not like a sandy beach it's more like rocks um but if you search it up on google maps armandale bay beach in the isle of sky then you will find it there's plenty of parking here as well but i think we're just gonna go for a little swim So we are at Armel. Uh, I can't say. I keep saying like almond. Was it almond? Armdale Bay Beach. Armdale um, Beach. Try saying that. Yeah. It's, uh, what's it called again? I can't say it. Armdale Bay Beach. Armdale Beach. It's something like to me these together. Gonna do a little baby update. Yeah. Let's get an Instagram picture as well for you. Yeah. So also if you want to see some Instagram pictures of Stephanie and our bump, go over and check out the Instagram. But this is just a stunning location. And I was going to get the drone up, but guys, I'm just going to enjoy this with the kids. I've been on the road for seven and a half hours. We've got about a full week or two of the Isle of Sky to do plenty of time to get the drone up, get some drone footage. Um, but oh, the sea is just so, so, so crystally blue. You know, it's unbelievable. I might actually put the drone up just to show you how blue it is. But yeah, it's like a turquoise blue, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Does it actually a colour your dress? Uh, is it a dress? What is it? What's this? Yeah. It's like a beach covering, I think. Yeah. <laughs> a beach gown. A little bump update from Stephanie. I don't know if it's doing any justice. Oh man, Stephanie, she's so big she is. She's getting big. So this is actually maternity um, swimsuit from Mex. Yeah. And then it's got the maternity belt there. So it stretches. Oh, okay. And then this goes over it so you can have it 
however you want if you want a tight covering but yeah i love it beautiful because the other one which wasn't a maternity swim outfit was getting a little bit tight on the head because i've only got a couple of weeks left now so yeah but yeah anyways let's get in this warm water look at the one look at the little crab did you see the crab <laughs> go away crab Lovely this like Steph. How are you enjoying it children and Sean? Oh absolutely beautiful, just what you need after a long drive. Yeah, you know, it's cold when you first go in but it warms up really quickly doesn't uh, yeah. it? It catches your breath for a moment. Oh, it's really good. How is it Diane? Why the camping for you? I know, just have a shower. <laughs> have yourself a bath in the sea. And fresh sea salt minerals. Yeah. Not get any better on that. Beautiful scenery though. Behind oh. you, beautiful scenery. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> so I'm just currently sitting down <laughs> in the water, like in the shallow end, because I don't want to go on any higher than my belly. And the reason being is it's a bit too cold, and I want to keep baby angel safe. Um, I know you have to be careful when you go in hot tubs and stuff like that. It's the same as going in like cold water as well, because like shock baby and stuff like that. So I'm just. Staying up to up to here yeah. and Sean's just that taking one for the good. team and he saw so Dion and just no, 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 submerging in the water. <laughs> but <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, because the first time you get in you're like <gasps> it takes your breath away, it's really, really cold. But after a while you get used to it. Now Dion's just like lazing in it, she is she's really enjoying it now. But it's been such a warm day. But when we cut across the bridge of sky and um, we actually drove through a cloud and we thought oh no it's going to be horrible the weather it's going to be really cold to go to a beach um but as we were driving further south it cleared up and it was really really sunny the plan was not to go to this beach sean found another beach um online but when we arrived there it was like 40 minutes drive so we decided to drive another seven minutes back to this one which i'm glad we did because it's not really like a big beach or anything like that and this is not a lot of sand it's more stones are you having fun caleb are you having fun boys yeah what are you doing hold it like this it's a dirt tower dirt tower yeah hold it like that but when i'm in the sea i like get really sorry this um when i'm in the sea like i'm scared of fish and crabs and seaweed not seaweed i don't mind seaweed um jellyfish and i think it's just because i had a dream when i was younger and it just scared us five <laughs> but yeah sean's not phased by it he's like this is what it is this is the wild baby <laughs> but really enjoying our vacation on the isle of sky so far and set up the van and sleep you know what we uh, want probably Stephanie? have a barbecue we want a room with a view yeah we do i think do. i found the perfect place never yeah yeah i oh, want us driving brilliant. down i want to see some spaces overlooking yeah. the sea and the mountain oh lovely that'd be perfect nice to wake up to that one of you oh it'll be lovely having a cup of tea in the morning there have a hot chocolate tonight with the children yeah maybe some roasted marshmallows oh i talk my language now you are <laughs> <laughs> So we have stopped and found ourselves a nice little pitch for tonight. So this is where we're staying. This is like the road here. And then you come into like this little cauldry sack. Sean has currently got the barbecue on the go. 
So while Sean is doing that, I am just doing some dishes, just washing the forks that we used earlier on today for dinner for our little pot um, noodle rice dishes that we had. Um, and then I'm going to get the food out of the fridge, which is just underneath here as well. I'm just going to put these away, have a quick tidy up around the van and get everything sorted. This is our little fridge that we have and what we have packed for the next couple of days. Um, for barbecue we have some burgers, some lamb kebabs, chicken kebabs. Um, I think we might go for, what do you fancy? Mm. Fancying maybe some lamb and chicken kebabs. Yeah, we'll put yeah. the lamb and chicken kebabs and maybe on. Maybe some chocolate cheesecake with some cream later. Oh, very nice guys, look. This is what is in our camping fridge. <laughs> Not very much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. they had like these little things on here, um, like little shells, but honestly, they were so, so tiny, you couldn't fit anything on them. And then when you closed it, it just stopped you from like having all that in, so I just took the shells off. We had to go for a smaller fridge than we wanted because it's underneath the sink, but it's still a decent size. How many litres is this one it's again? 40 litre. This is a 40 litre fridge. Yeah, you get quite a lot in the still though. Yeah, you do, yeah. So this is the chicken skewers that are done. They look so good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare some rice and have some rice with these. So tell me what's just happened here. I, I, as you, as what's this? Has your waters broke? What? Guys. Has your waters broke on holiday? <laughs> <laughs> Juice all over <laughs> <laughs> was holding these and she was laughing so hard that she spilled it all over herself. <laughs> oh, I, look hey, I could have been a real clickbait video, but we could have clickbaited everyone with that one. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Oh, you're gonna have to go get changed look, now. It does look like I've been watered the book. Well, at least we can make a joke out of it though, can't we? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but Sean, Sean was like, what do you mean more as a broke? I'm just confused. <laughs> he's like, we're all laughing. He's like, he's like, like hmm? what? He doesn't know. He didn't know what we meant at first, did you, Sean? Pardon? You didn't know what we meant at first, did you? No. Right, I've got to get this off. It does look it's... like your waters have broke. Like, like literally, like. If you, you can't see on camera, but like, it was like dripping down the bottom of there. We were like, oh, make a thumbnail selfie quick. <laughs> So next we're putting on the barbecue are these pork loin grills, um, they're Chinese style, so we're going to have those next. Excuse the hair, just came out to see, looking a bit messy, but it was well deserved. Lovely and refreshing, coming out of a lovely fresh sea after a seven and a half hour drive from Newcastle. So I think Stephanie's already introduced where we're at. Um, we've got neighbours who've just pulled up. There's also a nice little bit of information over here, just basically giving van life as a bit of advice from the people who look after the area. So it says this, um, respect sky and don't litter. So that is the main thing that I would say that if you're going to do van life is just respect all the rules because if you leave a mess behind it just gives van life a bad name and it's not good. Just mess that you think up. Van life has just keep the place tidy. It's all part of the give and receive process. We're receiving a lovely pitch here courtesy of people who own the island of sky in return give a little bit back look after the area um true fact guys um last time we were here last year we pulled up to some bins and we just pulled up to put some rubbish in it was all flown and there were some nappies on the floor and then the people were, were volunteers or something and they walked down they must have thought like, we had left the nappies and they're like oh, well, people picked this up and they're obviously really angry because it's like their island and they picked up the nappies and stuff just like big threw them next to the bin and they came get looked at us and i, I kind of stopped and i thought Hang on a moment, like, I think he must be thinking that like, this rubbish belongs to us. And then we all got out the car and they realised there was no baby with us. And like, they obviously realised they made a mistake and like looked at us like, oh, well, it wasn't you guys. Um, but yeah, the people in Scotland, from what I can get, are very like respectful, respectable and like very proud of where they live. And they like to look after the area, basically. So if you ever come up to Scotland, just look after it, treat it with respect. 
and you get a lot of respect back from people who own the place. Um, that's what I've found in any ways on my journeys up into Scotland. I'm going to put these Chinese style ribs on the go and um, guys I was going to have a beer tonight but I'm not even going to bother because I'm that tired. I'm absolutely that exhausted so I'm not going to bother having anything to drink. Are you okay? Yeah I'm good. Yeah. Just checking the barbecue. Yeah. But, um, <sighs> Stephanie's looking beautiful, lovely and pregnant mm -hmm. and honestly you just look so, so stunned on that beach today. I don't know what what it was. I was just like, yeah, this pregnancy glow, but you just look so beautiful. Oh, thank you, but, babe. Yeah. I'm just feeling emotional, you know, because I'm like, on this trip, I don't usually stay this stuff, I guess, to Stephanie. Oh, we <laughs> love Scotland, don't we? It's just beautiful, man, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, there's something about this place that just keeps drawing us back. But also, it's like, I don't know, it's just capturing us. It captures you as soon as you come, doesn't it? It's like, you're just captured I mean, by even it. even the drive, like we were saying on the drive here, it's just really, really nice and different from yeah. driving down south and the like, like the, roads are kind of All boring. of the landscapes like flat and stuff and yeah. then up here it's just like everything just has so much more detail, doesn't it? And You enjoy driving because the scenery is like, The beaches are beautiful, wow, wow, all the different colours in the water, the little coves and the cliffs and then you've got like all of the huge different shaped mountains and stuff. Just beautiful. And we've got how many lighthouses up here? I don't know, but there's loads of lighthouses. But um, this is the Isle of Sky experience. We will be doing the NC500 in style, like you don't know what. Um, I've had my heart set on this for so, so long. Last year when we came up to do the Isle of Sky, I actually got beat back because of fatigue. I got tired. I didn't yeah. come very well prepared. I did a bit of wild camping, just putting the tent up and stuff. And yeah, that was a nightmare, a guys. Absolute nightmare. Yeah, I think there's a big difference of wild camping in a tent and then actually like owning a motorhome. Yeah, for sure. Um, We've like noticed that this time around. And there's so many different places that you can stay and like sleep overnight is when you're looking for somewhere to put a tent. tent. You have to make sure that it's safe and then you have to make sure it's that it's just like, like a grass pitch and things like that. Yeah, you there's don't not, have it. Yeah, there's not very many places that actually you can wild camp. So we got some comments from you guys last year asking um, where are the best pitches to pitch up and camp uh, we didn't want to say because we were inexperienced we don't got to say to you guys go and camp here go and camp there because like we found it hard in ourselves didn't we like mm -hmm. this like uh, as stephanie was saying yeah. but what we would say there's a place at loch lomond definitely a nice place at loch lomond and then another place uh just down from fort william yeah and then there's another place just between where the two continental plates grind um a little bit further up past fort william and um, there's a place there but that's really busy you've got to get there early every time i've driven past there's been like there's about four or five there's probably i'd probably say about seven to ten parking spaces at the most but like you you can't get in like we how many times we drove past it a day and it was, yeah, it was stacked busy. wasn't it there's yeah, about one I space think we left drove past it like half two as well so. yeah you've got to get there early so if you're not like there early in the morning or early in the afternoon like it's just it's hard to get yeah but we'll leave the places down below we'll, in the description we'll try and do that for you are you going to do that are you yeah yeah we'll, we'll try and do that yeah i'm going to switch sides just because my hands hurting is the end of vlog here yeah Before end of vlog here um i'm going to wash all my hair products off um the couple who just came they just went down that way for their barbecue and i think they've got access to the beach down there i know we should check we it should out tomorrow try. morning but we want a big adventure tomorrow morning. We're up at 6 a.m tomorrow we're going to explore the rest of the isle of sky we're at the actual southern tip if i haven't already put the map in yet we'll be putting the map in right about here this is where we're at guys somewhere wherever stephanie decides to edit it in <laughs> um but that's where we're at and we're doing like a ring circle around the isle of sky so make sure to come back tomorrow for another amazing adventure around the isle of sky where we might go who knows but we've got this island to explore to ourselves it's so so beautiful and if you've Think we'll come to the other sky and you want to know what to do stick around because we're going to be showing you everything there's not going to be a stone unturned we're going to be turning over every stone doing everything that we possibly can in the isle of sky over the next week or two so come along for the adventure and we're going to love you love you guys and leave you guys we'll catch you guys all up in the next batista family vlog as always our beautiful b fam be yourself guys be different good night